So hello again. Um, I'm uh, on a Greek island, quite a remote one, and I've come here to photograph a very beautiful bird, uh, which we're lucky here in Greece that we have, uh, I think, something like 80% of the entire world's population uh, of this particular bird, and it's called the Eleonora's falcon, and it's a stunning falcon, and they live and breathe along the cliffs here. Um, uh, and this time of year, there's a, they're a very um, specialized bird in that they uh, lay their eggs and um, hatch their eggs very late on in the year uh, to time in time with the um, autumn migration so that uh, all the birds that are flying south for the winter um, uh, become their prey so they have plenty of food uh, for their young ones. They can pick up uh, lots of the small birds that are migrating, that are inexperienced um, first-year uh, birds that are flying south. Um, so they time their, uh, their reproductive cycle with that. I can hear them calling in the distance there and I'm hoping that I will get some fly pasts here. Um, if not, I'll have to try and find another location. Uh, as you can see, it is very, very uh, craggy. Um, it's um, quite a steep drop and I'm right on the edge. So with any luck we'll get some decent shots today and I'm hoping for a bit of video as well because I'd really love for you to see these birds. They're amazing. Anyway, I'm gonna hang out here for a while, probably a few hours. Uh, to see uh, what I might be lucky enough to photograph in the video. So um, hopefully I'll be bringing you that in just a second and I'll catch up with you then. Cheers. It's so difficult to track on video. They're incredibly fast flyers. Very, very agile, and you see them just flip in the air as they grab something.
So this morning didn't go uh, at all to plan. When I left here to go down to the coves that I mentioned before, um, when I got back to my little rental car I found it had a flat tire and I had no signal to call them and although there was a spare in the car there was no jack so I couldn't do anything about it and in the end uh, I found somebody at the monastery just further up here uh, I was lucky enough that there was somebody there and they had uh, a pump so pumped up the tire and managed to get back to town and uh, replace the tire so that was the story of this morning um, so i've come back again this afternoon with the uh, afternoon light that now you can see is quite different falling on the rocks there where the the eleanoras are, are nesting uh, i'm still really far away um, and it's very quiet at the minute I've, there's a couple that are flying out from the rock still but I can't hear them calling like they were this morning um, you can hear me with this wind as well um, and uh, yeah so I will uh, hang out here for a couple of hours and again so it's been a couple of hours since uh, I set up here on the um, cliffs uh, where I was this morning hoping to get a glimpse of uh, some more Eleonora's but um, the last couple of hours there's been absolutely no movement whatsoever other than a couple of very distant fly pasts um, so I'm guessing that most of the action happens in the morning hours which is probably when the chicks are hungriest. So calling it quits for today and uh, try again in the morning. So I'll see you then. Cheers for now. It's uh, day two here on the island and I've come back to the same spot that I was in um, I came to yesterday um, for the Eleanoras. It's uh, blowing a gale today which is why I'm doing this little piece to camera now. Oops, it's gone really dark. Um, so that uh, you might be able to hear me. Uh, because as soon as I get out there I doubt that the microphone on this little camera is going to be working very well. And there's one just flying above me right there now. So I'm going to have another go today at photographing them um, and videoing. Um, hopefully with a little bit more luck than I had yesterday. And um, yeah, we'll see what we get. So I'll um, hopefully be bringing you some nice pictures and video in a minute. See you in a bit. having a really hard time <coughs> tracking them just using the back of the monitor. I wish when shooting video of these cameras I could actually shoot through the viewfinder because shooting uh, fast moving birds <coughs> trying to look on the back of the screen and hold them in frame <coughs> is next to impossible. I hope you can hear me above the wind noise by the way. Um, I've come slightly further along the cliff uh, in the hope of getting uh, closer shots. Um, I'm not sure if it's working yet. And when they stoop to dive, the speed that they get is just phenomenal. 
add to that how they change direction. In a microsecond. Here in corner, you can't see it. Well, once they fly over the ocean as well, they're so well camouflaged. They're really difficult to pick out, and the autofocus on the camera won't pick them out when they're over the ocean because it can, you can sense the movement of the waves and focuses on that. So focusing when they're over the sea is really hard too, but it's a lovely shot, and I wish I could get it. I think this has to be one of the hardest challenges I've uh, put myself against you know, to video these Eleanors. Anyway, I'll carry on shooting here for a while. And uh, in the hope that they might come closer and I might get a decent shot. Hope you've enjoyed watching this video, such as it is. I've enjoyed it. It's been amazing. The country, uh, the countryside is phenomenal. It's incredibly rugged, inc incredibly rough going. Like I said, I think I mentioned before. I think you need to be a billy goat to uh, get around this island. Um, amazing terrain. But accessibility is very, very difficult. And the results in the images, I think, show that. I don't know, because they're not as close as I had to hope they would be. I mean, I came this time of year to photograph the Eleanoras because I know that this time of year is when they're nesting. And I figured it, they would be at their most active this time of year. 
were very active, um, but very far away uh, to get decent close-up shots of them. Beautiful to watch though. And as for all the other birds that um, exist on the island, I was super lucky with the Bonellis, the juvenile Bonellis on the first day, um, which I haven't spotted any since. And apparently there's, I was speaking to somebody the other night, and there's, uh, they estimate up to four pairs here. I had read that it was only two. Um, but I haven't had any success at all in spotting any of those. Um, I spotted one cormorant, which I can't tell without... I'll have to look at it on the computer as well. If it's um, the uh, Aristoteles, the Mediterranean shag, and not just a regular cormorant. Um, I didn't spot a single Orduin's gull, uh, which apparently exists here as well. I did see a yellow-legged gull, uh, all on his own. What else? A few small birds, bits and bobs, odds and ends. A uh, red, sh uh, red back shrike, a young one. Uh, uh, blue rock thrush. A few swallows. And that's about it, really. Not very much at all. There was a group of... Uh, Beat has arrived last night. I'm guessing they're on their migration south and they stopped over here last night. Um, yeah. So, anyway, I think that's about it. So, I shall try and put this video together. Hopefully, something decent will come of it. And hopefully, you'll enjoy watching it. And until next time, thanks for watching. Bye for now.